The way I think sustainability used to be thought of maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago was this one CSR function with maybe five to six people in some corner of the office coming up with these projects which could basically lead to some good PR and some good talkability around I think the Unilever image you know, or I think the overall company image, our own personal image. And I think sitting today in the past three years, I think the big difference I see is sustainability being embedded in the business model of the way that we operate. देखिए मुझे याद है कि हमारे ग्लोबल सीईओ थे पॉल पोलमैन एंड दिस वाज 2009 वेयर ही सेट अ विजन दैट विल डबल द बिजनेस बाय हाफिंग द एनवायरमेंटल फुटप्रिंट सो बैक देन आई वाज आई वाज एन इंजीनियर वर्किंग इन वन ऑफ द फैक्ट्रीज um and i was um, you know responsible for the utilities uh, in that fa particular factory so the first time when we came to know that okay uh, we have to half our environmental footprint by 2020 uh, that seemed like a near to impossible uh, goal the most important question was that how how would it make a commercial sense and i think so over the last one and a half decade or so overall industry started to realize that it is uh, not a nice thing to talk about uh they start to realize it's no more a vanity statement it's no more a poster child it's not a trend anymore it is real i don't think that we can afford to have sustainability tossed around as a csr initiative it's a business imperative because if we don't have the planet we won't have a business as well जब हमने 2009 के अंदर ये हम लोगों ने लॉन्च किया था उस वक्त तकरीबन कोई हमने 32 डिफरेंट इनिशिएटिव्स पिक किए थे एंड ओवर टाइम ने रियलाइज़ किया कि यार वो बहुत एम्बिशस था इट वाज विद क्लीन इंटेंट बट इट वाज सो बिग कि हम हर चीज़ के ऊपर इम्पैक्ट नहीं क्रिएट कर पाए सो जब दोबारा से स्कैन किया तो वी सर वॉट इज द क्लोजेस्ट टू आर ओन बिजनेस दिजनेस वी डील इन विच इज़ वाई द रीफोकस स्ट्रेटी और सस्टेनेबिलिटी एक्सलरेटेड एज वे कॉलिंग इट इन पाकिस्तान talks about issues that are most material to our business and the world that would be things that are equalizers for all or affect all of us indiscriminately climate nature livelihoods access to better livelihoods and of course uh, being the business that we are in plastics and better circularity you go back 5 years plastics recyclability was i think optional something that you tag on as uh, something that you're doing good for society and now it's pretty much become part of our business model because i think the regulatory framework i think has shifted so much that it's no longer an option in terms of going the 100% recyclability route rather it's part of doing business so i'm responsible for the hair care portfolio where we use rigids which is the the plastic bottles for shampoos uh, over that we uh, in that we've achieved 100% um, recyclable use uh, plastic and um, a concept called pcr which is post consumer recyclable uh, uh, plastic uh, that after use can you sort of do uh, recycle them again um, in that for two of our biggest variants we've now uh, reached 25% and we aim to uh, reach 100% soon as well Uh, and i think we're very proud in terms of i think the journey that a lot of teams uh, from r&d to our i think sourcing to our procurement have been able to make to i think get us to those very audacious goals faster quicker with speed uh, and we hope to continue that journey going forward um and i think we'll be rewarded for it by our consumers in the long run इंटेंट बड़ी अच्छी चीज़ है आपकी नीयत है आप अच्छा काम करना चाह रहे हैं ठीक है आपके पास रिसोर्स भी हैं चलिए बहुत बहुत अच्छी बात है मगर आपके पास प्रैक्टिकली कोई इकोसिस्टम नहीं है तो अगर इंटेंट अच्छी भी हो और रिसोर्स हो बट यू डोंट हैव एन इको सिस्टम यू कैन नॉट मेक एनी डिफरेंस एंड आई थिंक सो वट वी हैव सीन जहाँ पर हमें सक्सेस हुई है वहाँ पर जहाँ पर हमारे पास पार्टनर्स थे इट्स सच एन इंस्पायरिंग जर्नी सीन आर पार्टनर्स ग्रो वी हैव सीन देर पीपल ग्रो we have seen this entire value chain and we at unilever are so proud of it that uh, it's not just that we have become plastic neutral uh, with that we have uh, developed a sustainable ecosystem which will continue for the years and years to come with unilever we have been engaged since 2022 so everything i have seen how it has happened is in front of me it's not that i'm talking about my previous generation or something and the things have been progressed and they are still progressing ek cheez jo unilever mein aur shayad ye nahi kahungi ki baakiyon mein nahi hai lekin shayad unilever mein wo zyada hai aur wo uska vision hai wo uska trust hai 
टीम बिल्डिंग के ऊपर स्टार्टअप्स को लेके चलने के ऊपर सो यू नो दे नेवर टेक द कल्चरल अटोनमी अवे फ्रॉम देर पार्टनर्स दे लिसन एंड दैट्स बिग कमिंग फ्राम एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज एज एज ह्यूज इज यूनी लीव सो दे नो यूर गुड एट समथिंग एंड दे विल गिव यू दैट क्रिएटिव स्पेस टू यू नो टेस्ट दैट आउट सेकेंडली दे डोंट काइंड ऑफ यू नो इट्स नॉट लाइक हेयर हेयर अ प्रोजेक्ट एंड देन कैंड मूव इन टू द बैकग्राउंड दैट डजेंट हैपन देर दिल हैंड होल्ड यू थ्रू द इंटायर प्रोसेस एंड देन यू नो दैट यूर क्रिएटिंग समथिंग विद दैम रैदर दैन फॉर दैम एंड दैट्स अ कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस ऑल टूगेदर in 2050 and 2039 is great but we will not be able to do anything towards those larger milestones that are so far out into the future if we don't start work today and hold ourselves accountable to more urgent milestones and goal posts pehle jitne bhi humne goal setting ki thi wo thi 2030 35 40 45 good thing but i think so mai khayal mein who would have seen 2045 uh, because the problem is so real that we had to set uh, targets in short term peace meal ke andar urgency dikhane ki zarurat hai ki 2025 mein kya hoga 26 mein kya hoga 27 mein kya hoga so that's a another shift we brought in that instead of talking something ka 35 mein 40 mein 45 mein kya karenge we started saying ki yaar agle 5 saal mein humne kya karna hai i think it's it's perfect you know right before the next cop uh, the timing is great and it says a lot in terms of pakistan's uh, commitment to sustainability and uh, you know uh, reducing the effects of climate change whatever we are doing uh, we need to share those learnings together so so the more we share uh, uh, because we started this journey like 15 years back uh, we are where we are uh, what we would love to do is that you know we would to you know disseminate those learnings to the to the other partners also and this is exactly what we are doing with our with our direct partners which are suppliers etc our own ecosystem we are we're doing exactly that we are uh sharing our learnings we're sharing our best practices we're sharing our pitfalls also and you know our approach is the more the merrier because i think the more people join the bandwagon uh, i think the more prosperous we'll be as a society and the better all of us will do yeah a high tide will lift all the ships and i think that's fundamentally i think our philosophy at unilever